The works of early directors portrayed Philippine situations from everyday life as well as Philippine history. In addition, they were in a language the vast majority in the Philippines could understand. <laughs> Traditional theater forms provided early films with character types, twists in the plot, familiar themes, and conventions in acting. The Sarsuela yielded many romantic and comic characters for plots spiced up with songs and happy endings. drama inherited from Sinacolo, characters like the Virgin as the all-suffering mother, Mary Magdalene as the prostitute with the golden heart, Judas, the unmitigated villain, and of course, Jesus as the savior of societies under threat and redeemer of those who have gone wrong. To this day, the Commedia continues to inspire action movies in which men and women engage in life and death combat between the good and the bad. Philippine literature has also been a rich source of subject matters and themes. Film versions of Rizal's Noli Me Tangere familiarized a broad audience with vignettes of resistance and betrayal when Filipinos were demanding reforms from Spain. On film, Florante at Laura by Francisco Baltazar made the jealous lover and the ever-faithful lady love popular characters. These are the characters around whom many contemporary movies continue to revolve. Sa 
other literary sources were contemporary novels that appeared in popular weekly magazines. In many instances, the author of the novel served as a selling point of the movie. Philippine folklore has yielded tales that have been used for comedies with social comments. Nakita mo na kuwa, ang sultan ay hindi Diyos. Ay bakit po ninyo hindi palitan yung mga ministro yan? Mga inutil. Yung isa ay iling na iling. May tango ng tango para mga disusi, di kwerdas. Malaki na itulong sa akin yung mga tango yan nung nakarang eleksyon. Kaya sila ay hindi ko maaaring basta alisin. Ay, ay kung katulad po naman ito, ang taong bahay lang ng preperfisyo, hindi tuloy nyo nalalama kung anong talaga nangyayari. Kaya naman ako yung umaasa sa mga taong tapat na katulad mo. In spite of being the underdog to Hollywood, the local film industry survived because the larger portion of the Filipino audience was not equipped to appreciate films in English. Thus, shortly before the outbreak of the Pacific War, no less than six active film companies were making movies for that audience. Altogether, the companies were making more than 50 movies annually. In less than 20 years of existence, from 1919, the industry was able to build a firmament of stars whose glitter and glamour were to establish moviegoing as a national pastime among Filipinos. Thank you. 